Hi, my name's Hannah Parker. I was the winner of last year's PD Tip Tuesday competition. For today's Tip Tuesday, we're going to be talking about recurrency. So first up, it starts at home. Make sure you pack your bags the night before so you're not stressed in the morning. Make sure your gear is all prepared, that your reserve is in date, and your, all your batteries are charged for your GoPro, altimeter, audibles. The last thing you can do at home is practice visualizing. Even from arriving at the drop zone and checking your gear to the skydive, visualizing is a really powerful tool and we can use it before we even get to the drop zone. Once you arrive at the drop zone, depending on how uncurrent you are, bear in mind you might still need a refresh or a reset. Make sure you arrive at the DZ nice and early so you can go through your emergency procedures. Find someone to help you go through them and make sure they're nice and fresh and current in your mind. Ensure that you familiarize yourself with the wind for the day, the run-in, landing patterns, so your mind is clear and ready to go before you jump. If your rig has been packed in the cupboard for a while or you've traveled from a journey, it may be worth repacking your mane before you jump, just for your peace of mind. When you're planning your first jump back, make sure you keep it simple. Maybe it's not the best time to do a multi-plane, formation load, complex dive plans, just keep it simple. It's also best to stick with things that are familiar to you. For example, your local drop zone that you're used to jumping at or the canopy that you've been jumping as well. Depending on the amount of time you've had out of the sport, it may be even worth considering doing a hop and pop for your first jump back. Or if not, even pulling a little bit higher on the first jump. If something doesn't feel right, trust your gut feeling. Maybe the weather conditions aren't perfect or you're feeling too nervous that day. It's okay, you can go back and jump another day. Remember, experience doesn't translate into currency. Whether you have 10,000 jumps or 100 jumps, you still need to be smart about getting current. And don't ever be afraid to ask for help.